join me for story time today. My name is Miss Emma and I'm here to read you some stories. So the stories that we're going to read today are all about opposites. Do you know what an opposite is or what opposite means? What do you think that might mean? I'm going to give you some examples to help you know what an opposite is. So if I say hi, high in the sky, the opposite of high is low. If I say big, if I say big, the opposite of big is small or little. If I say loud, the opposite of loud is quiet. All right, so there are some examples. Can you think of anything else that is an opposite? What do you think? In the meantime, we're gonna get started with our first story. So our first story is going to be up and Down by Britta Teckentrup. And we're going to read Up and Down. This is Up and Down. This story has some fun flaps, so you'll see that as we go through the story. Oh, that we got. over a little bit so we can see better. There we go. All right, this is up and down. Little Penguin missed his friend. She lived on a far away iceberg. So, Little Penguin set off to see her. He jumped high into the air and dived low beneath the waves. So we had an opposite there. We had high and low. Let's see what other opposites we find in the story. He swam down through the seaweed and up toward a tunnel. We had down and up. Little Penguin stopped outside the dark tunnel. And then swam bravely inside. He reached the end of the small tunnel. and swam out into the big ocean. He swam in front of playful dolphins and then behind solemn sharks. He swam above bobbing jellyfish and below a tickly octopus. He swam over an orca's tail. and then under 
its belly. Little Penguin's friend was waiting. Feeling lonely made her sad, but seeing Little Penguin made her happy. Little Penguin was almost there. He climbed from the bottom of the iceberg to the top. Then the two friends were no longer apart. They were together at last. The end. That was Up and Down by Britta Teckentrup. Thank you guys so much for being such good listeners. Now, we do you remember some of the opposites that were in that story? Go ahead and think for a minute. What were some of the opposites in that story? We had high and low. We had up and down. We had outside and inside. We had big and small. Mm, we had in front and behind, above and below. We had over and under, sad and happy. We had the bottom and the top, and then we had apart and together at the very end. So if you guys guessed any of those, you did a great job. Okay, everyone, we're gonna play a little game now. So if I say the word go, what might the opposite of go be? If you said stop, then you'd be right. So go and stop are opposites. Now, is there a color that you think means go? You might see it if you're in the car, maybe at a traffic light. What do you think? Green, so green means go. What color might there be for the for stop? What do you think? Red. So red means stop. Now, is there a color that's in between green and red or go and stop? Is there an in between? What do you think? If you said yellow, yellow means slow. Okay, so I think that we are ready to play our game. Green says go, 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 go. Yellow says slow, 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 slow. And red says stop, 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 stop. Okay, great job listening. Now, I want everyone to stand up. And when you hear and see the color green, I want you to march in place really quickly. And when you hear and see the color yellow, I want you to march in place slowly. And when you hear and see the color red, I want you to stop and breathe. Okay, here we go. Green says go. Go, go, go. Yellow says slow. Slow, slow, slow. And red says stop. Stop, stop, stop. Freeze. Okay, let's try that again. Ready? Go, go, go. Slow, slow, slow. Stop, stop, stop. Are you frozen? All right, that is the end of our little game. I hope you all had fun playing that game. Now we're going to read our next story. And our next story is going to be Where is the Green Sheep? by Mem Fox and Judy Horacek. Where is the green sheep? Here is the blue sheep. And here is the red sheep. And here is the bath sheep. And here
here is the bed sheep. But where is the green sheep? Here is the thin sheep. And here is the wide sheep. We have an opposite there. We have thin and wide. Here is the swing sheep. And here is the slide sheep. But where is the green sheep? Here is the up sheep. And here is the down sheep. There's an opposite, you guys, up and down. Here is the band sheep. And here is the clown sheep. But where is the green sheep? Here is the sun sheep, and here is the rain sheep. Here is the car sheep, and here is the train sheep. Does anyone see the train sheep? Look at nice and close. Do you see the train sheep? I think the train sheep is on the train all the way up here. But where is the green sheep? Here is the wind sheep, and here is the wave sheep. Here is the scared sheep, and here is the brave sheep. But where is the green sheep? Here is the near sheep, right up close, and here is the far sheep. That's another opposite, you guys, near and far. Here is the moon sheep, and here is the star sheep. But where is the green sheep? Do you guys see the green sheep? Hmm. I don't think I see the green sheep. Where is that green sheep? Does anyone have any guesses where the green sheep is? If you know the story, don't give it away. Where do you think the green sheep is? Do you want to find out? Let's find out. Turn the page quietly and let's take a peek. Here's our green sheep fast asleep. The and that was Where is the Green Sheep by Mem Fox and Judy Horacek. Now we're going to do our craft. So if you registered for the program, you should have picked up your grab and go activity. If you didn't yet, that's fine. You can come in and pick it up um, anytime and do the, do the project after the story time. Okay, so now it's time to do our project. In your grab and go bag, you'll find a piece of black paper and some strips of colorful paper. You will also need a glue stick and a pair of scissors. If you look at your black piece of paper, you'll see it has lines cut out. That's because we're going to be doing a weaving activity. Weaving uses the opposites over and under. Keep that in mind and it will help you with this activity. The first thing you're going to do is pick a strip of colorful paper. You can do a pattern, you can choose random colors, or you can do a rainbow like I'm going to do. Now remember, you want to weave your strip over and then under, over and then under. So if you watch me, you'll see how to do it. We're going to start with under and then go over, and then we're going to go under and then over, under, then over, under, then over, under, and then over. You want it to be opposite from the color next to it. Now watch with the yellow strip. So we're going to start opposite. So we're going to start by going over and then under, over and then under, and then we're going to go over and under, over, then under, over and then under. Okay, so see how it's opposite from the orange strip next to it. Then we're going to move on to our green strip and you're going to keep going just like that under and over, under and over.
Okay, now that you're done weaving your paper, we're going to glue all of the ends down so that the pieces don't slide out. You can go ahead and do that now. Then once you're done gluing, you can trim all of the ends of the strips of paper that are sticking out. You can always ask a grown-up for help with this part. An extra step you can take would be to also trim off the edges of the black paper. Make sure to also glue down the ends of the black paper so that nothing comes loose. And you're all done! I hope you guys had fun today learning all about opposites with me. Um, make sure to come in and visit us at the library. We have a lot of fun programs for November and December, and I will see you next time.